the public school district are going to be learning remotely, we know, for the beginning of the school year. But so many students and families in that district don't have access to the internet. So new this morning, a local organization may have found a solution when it comes to remote learning. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Rebecca Thornburg taking a look behind the scenes of an education program that's designed to help students when they're learning from home. The ground. Keep breathing right here as much as you can through your nose. These physical education teachers from schools across Buffalo are helping to create home exercise instruction for students. So pushing down and popping up. We try to take uh, about every course possible in some way and at least have one or two or three of those key courses. Buffalo Learning Enrichment Television Program, or Be Enriched, has been filming for the last few weeks, providing educational programming for students that do not have access to internet. We're gonna begin with some rhyming words. So they're half hour programs, basically 27 minutes, but they run a half hour, and they're from science to history to uh, geology. Uh, we had uh, ex chemical experiments going on right in the studio. Weekdays from 10 a.m. until 12 p.m. Families with students from kindergarten to 12th grade can tune into WNYO TV channel 49 cable 8 for instruction with teachers. That's good job. That's not a sound we usually talk about yet. That's excellent. Buffalo Public Schools confirm more than 4,500 student households do not have internet access. Executive producer Paul Maurer says he hopes this programming can help bridge the digital divide for students. The nice thing is these kids are able to get two hours worth of classes in every day. So we think it's enough to bridge that gap for now until they can go back to school or until they get wired for internet, for example, which hopefully will be down the road. Classes will be televised now until October 2nd, and more classes may be filmed if learning continues to be remote. In Buffalo, Rebecca Thornburg, 7 Eyewitness News. I love this idea because most families do have a television even if they don't have internet access, so it's just another way and another option for these students.